Hi, this is Nolan from Benchmark, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a quick grid in microsurveys. Field Genius. So I recently had a customer who asked me what an easy way to create a grid to set up an archaeological um, uh, a grid on the ground would be. So what I thought would be an interesting video is showing you how you could do just that. So what I've done to begin here is I've laid out five points, and I'm going to be using three of them as the corners on my grid. Now, obviously, you could do this with one corner and then traverse um, with the Field Genius Calculator option to get your other three corners. But in this case, I'm going to say I've shot three of my corners, and what I'm going to do is create a two meter by two meter grid in this area. So what I'm going to do to begin here is I'm going to select my first point, and I'm going to draw a line to my first corner. And what I'm then going to do is close this line, and then I'm going to partition this line by distance to help create that two meter grid. So I've got my method set to by distance here, and then I'm gonna change my partition here to 2.0 meters. And what that's gonna do is it's going to partition my line by exactly that two meter. Now you could obviously do it as well by equal parts if you wanted to do it that way, but I'm gonna use it by distance so I have a nice two meter grid for all of my points. I'm then going to draw a, another line up to my third point here, creating the first corner of my grid and again I'm going to do the exact same method. I'm going to close out of this line and then I'm going to partition this line by two meter intervals and again I'll just hit partition so you can see I've already got a nice uh, setup for my right angle here. Now obviously I'm still missing the final corner of my grid here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my calculations menu from the main menu here and within my calculations menu I'm going to select my traverse slash intersection option and then instead of doing a traverse what I'm going to do is a direction direction intersection and what this will allow me to do is to create a point that is perpendicular or that is created between an intersection of two lines that are perpendicular to my uh, two remaining points that do not have corners set up yet so what I'm going to do in my direction field is I'm going to from this point in the bottom right here and let me just turn on my point ID so that I can see which points I'm working with here. So from point four, I'm going to want to create a perpendicular line. So to do that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select my start point as point four. And then in my direction field here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go 90 plus four dot dot one. So what I'm doing here is I'm telling Field Genius to create me a line that is 90 degrees plus the bearings between points four and one. So if I use that four dot dot one notation, I'm telling Field Genius I want the bearing between points one and points four, and then I wanna add 90 degrees to that to get my perpendicular line to that bearing. I'm then going to do the same thing for point three here. I'm gonna go three, 90 plus three dot dot one. You can see here I've got two arrows that are pointing perpendicular to point three and point one, and I've got this green solution point where I can store a point for my final uh, point on the exterior corner of my grid. And again, I'm just gonna draw a quick line between point 14 and point three. I'm going to partition the line by those two meter intervals again. I'm gonna do the same thing for points of 14 and four. And then I'm gonna quickly draw my line creating my vertical grid part of the pattern. And again, I'm just gonna partition all of these lines by two meters here. And once I've got all of my lines partitioned here, again, I'm just gonna connect all my dots here and I have my grid on the screen. Now, obviously you don't have to draw out all of the lines on the grid here. Um, but in this case, it makes it a nice visual representation of what my grid looks like. And I could stake each of these points to quickly create this grid in the field, at which point I would be ready to continue on, with, whether it be an archeological survey or whatever, so else you need the grid for. But for now, that is everything in today's video. That is how you create a grid pattern in microsurveys Field Genius using the partition tool, the intersection tool, and the line drawing tool. And if you have a moment, I would please ask you to hit that subscribe button down below. It really just helps out and helps me keep making videos just like this. And if you have any questions, I would please ask you to contact us at 1-888-286-3204 or visit us on the web at bench-mark.ca.